don't do it. If I give my heart to you, oh please, you must be sure from the very start that you won't break my heart like that. Cause I couldn't stand the pain And I would be sad if I knew love was in vain How much time I got? So I hope you see How many of y'all remember that? I'm going back so far None of y'all, none of millennials gonna know that. None of y'all, none of y'all, none of y'all. And if I and my uh, uh, black uh, listeners might be saying, "Now I know you ain't. Where you get that? I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was nineteen sixty four. Actually, I think it was the Beatles. That was just a different version of it." Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. I feel so good this morning. God is so good. All the time, all the time, God is good. You know, but this next story is going to leave you pondering. And this is what I'm talking about when it said the devil make evil fair seeming. Actually, this story is not funny, but it's really insane. So, a Mary Idaho uh, Sheriff's Deputy, 49, is, um, I think, charged, is, uh, charged after she duped former Olympic speed skater, 68, from dying from mad cow disease into a romance and forced him to leave everything to her in his will. See, you really got people out here that are sharks and predators and the things that um, most people see as um, loving, like, oh, they might end up in a situation like this. I'm sure from to everybody, it seemed like a wonderful relationship. But the police have charged Idaho booking deputy Marina Billings over allegedly exploitation and aggravated abuse of Olympic speed skater Boris Leakin. Leakin met Billings, whom he did not know was married, online, and the pair started dating. She quickly moved into his Utah home. Neighbors claim Leakin, who died in July from mad cow disease, became ill after Billings of 49 moved in while he was sick she managed his care and his finances Lincoln's neighbors say she forced him to sign a will naming her his beneficiary and executor while he was incapacitated police charged Billings and her husband Robert with fraud and aggravated abuse after Lincoln's death investigators found copies of his will power of attorney, medical records, and more in a secret room in the married couple's basement. Okay? Now, a married Idaho booking deputy has been accused of duping a former Olympic speed skater into a romance and then making herself the beneficiary of his will. Now, this is what I mean by predators. And what um, saddens me about the whole thing is I'm sure he would have bet his life on how much she loved him. But he had all kinds of red flags that she didn't. He was just unwilling to see them. And that's not by what she said with her lips, but by her behavior. See, that's what you go by. Don't go by what they say with their mouths. And I don't understand if he had any family or any children because he's 68 years old. Um, and knowing her, she probably isolated all of them. 
Okay, so they couldn't get a hold, couldn't have access to him the way they needed to. She probably set the stuff up where it, it was just him and her. Him and her. Which is a real strong, strong sign that he was in the house with somebody with a severe personality disorder. Because obviously she didn't move everybody away from the man and made herself the beneficiary and the executor of his estate. And the sad part about it is she probably don't have no remorse that she did anything until she got caught. Okay? The man was suffering from mad cow disease and she didn't care. She could have cared less. Friends of the late athlete who lived in Cottonwood Heights, Utah, said he took his health very seriously and was in very good shape. Some of his neighbors were stunned to be summoned to his home to see the Billings let Leakin to sign an updated will giving them at his assets. And while his hand shook with Marina allegedly speaking to him like he was a dog. That's sad. And it also kind of reminds me of the uh, 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 Jody Arias case. Friends said Leakin, who was online, uh, records lists as a competitor in the 1998 Winter Olympics. But quickly fell ill after he started dating Idaho booking Deputy Billings, who he met online on a chat forum for Russian expats. <laughs> Billings, who immigrated to the U.S. from Serbia in 2007, moved into his Cottonwood Heights home, and Leakin came back sick and was hospitalized, according to the court documents. And that's really sad, because he's a he immigrated to the U.S. And as y'all know, in the next... <coughs> um, 13, 14 months, I want to, um, you know, at least have an opportunity within that time to, you know, just migrate someplace. And this is the kind of stuff that lets you know that you have to really, really be on your P's and Q's because there are people who are out there willing to take advantage of you for citizenship. There are people who are willing to take advantage of you. And if you don't know and if you're an emotional person, everything is done in, um, you know, in his case, I'm trying to figure out, did he have any children? And the article doesn't go and say that. Because if he was lonely, because he's 68 years old, it's not like when you get in your 60s, you know, people are breaking down their door to date us, okay? When you get older in age, you know, a lot of times you, you, you do things that, you, you probably wouldn't necessarily do when you were younger, okay? And so I'm saying, um, this is sad. This man, he continued to skate well into his 60s. And he was competing in competition, so that goes to show you the man was in good health before he got with her. And she just slowly broke him down to the lowest common denominator. You understand what I'm saying? This is insane. That So, the thing about it, her ass has now been arrested. And charged with financial exploitation. Mm -mm -mm. Now, again, people that usually do stuff like this, and it's, it's important that y'all understand these kind of personalities, they always have a person on their side, you know, or they're setting you up waiting for the next relationship. And, you know, every time there's, there's it's always somebody new in the picture, you know, and you're like, oh, okay. And see, once you study the behavior, he didn't even know that she was married. How did she get him incapacitated? Because the woman was married to somebody else. She probably had another boyfriend somewhere else. 
because they're always lining up their chips. This right here is a perfect example of a person being exploited and not having anybody who really truly loved them to look out for them. God knows I don't want to be in no situation like that. That's one of the worst things that could happen to a human being. So, I don't know. Y'all heard this story? Y'all don't know anybody that uh, had they stuff in that situation? Because I've heard about these type of situations. Where a person is relatively healthy. Get with somebody and they start going totally downhill. Hmm. And we never want to think the obvious. Actually, they've been arrested, but the cops, I forgot to say, haven't accused them of murder, but say their behavior may have hastened Lucas' decline from mad cow disease, a fatal degenerative brain condition, which can be caused by eating infected meat. Uh, you don't want to say nothing about that because you might end up like Oprah. But fortunately for me, um, I, you know, I don't eat meat like that anyway. So, yeah, I'm just basically a fish eater. But this right here is insane. Uh, rest in peace. And, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't even know they were married. Oh, this is all so sad. That really is. It's sad. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the video, and check on your loved ones, will you?